One billion dollars for a string of local projects, creating more than 3,000 jobs. The latest pledge to voters from our LNP contingent. Congestion busting projects, the length and the breadth of the coast, whether it's Beckman's Road in Noosa or fixing up the Caloundra Road, Nicklin Way roundabout in the south. One road not on the list, the intersection at Old Gympie and Peachester Roads at Biwa. It's one of the uh, most dangerous intersections in the Glasshouse electorate. It's right on the boundary with the Caloundra electorate. Labor today committed $4 million to fix it. The only reason that's on Labor's list is that Mark and I have been fighting successive Labor governments to get that done over many, many years. If these two guys had any effect whatsoever in the parliament, this would have been fixed. When the election was called, council listed six pieces of infrastructure on its funding wish list. There's been a varying response from the different parties. Um, Labor has been fairly slow. The LNP has generally been strong, um, but a lot of their major commitments are conditional on additional funding from the federal government. Like the rail duplication, LNP will spend $300 million on the project, the feds would have to match it. One Nation's Steve Dixon says his party will pay for it in full by scrapping Brisbane's Cross River Rail project. Today he announced $8 million towards the USC stadium expansion. One Nation has been very committed uh, with, uh, I think, uh, you know, a response to almost all of the six projects. We're, we're actually doing more than all of the other parties. Sophie Ryan, Nine News.